That's us right there. Last week we fixed our jib furler and shoved off from Spanish Key. Got some good exercise rowing the dinghy and got some chill time at an awesome beach bar on Guana Key. Got a little squall action here. Blowing through the mooring field. Don't jump, don't try to swim. So our new friends, Persistence, gave us a ride last night, twice, a tow I should say. We got double lines through our mooring ball, a little bit doubled up. Too clear to be mysterious. Going to a pig roast. Hello, pig roast. He held it as long as he could. Good job, puppy. <laughs> Do you want me out? turned out to be more of a $30 per person pig buffet. So we spent our time drinking rum drinks and splashing around in the clear water and headed back to good old Guana Grabbers for dinner. The pool's really empty all of a sudden. <laughs> Second toe, well, I guess technically our third toe. If we ever have a working motor, we'll pay it forward. That's us right there. Well, we've reached a point in the trip where We've just decided to stay in one place for a day. Just kind of nice. It's 
we were, uh, you know, working hard to get across the Gulf Stream and over to the Abaco so you get checked in. And it was hotter than hell and, you know, all the stupid fucking bureaucracy and all the paperwork and paying for this and paying for that and it's whatever. It is what it is. I understand that. We, uh, sitting here at, um, Great Guana Key. I forget the name of this. I keep forgetting the name of this harbor that we're in. Fisher Bay. Fisher Bay, that's right. Lauren's down below, reading her Kindle with the baby. We just had a storm blow through <clears throat> as we were being towed back to the boat by a nice couple with another dinghy. I'm going to figure this motor out somehow. Things brand new to us, and it's only a 2016, and it ran perfectly at Great Sail Key. Perfect. I can't make it do anything. It won't. It won't even hiccup like it's going to try to start. So it's really frustrating. I've been rowing a lot, and my arms hurt. It's good for me though. Anyway, we're just sitting here, hanging out. Got the rum going. Listening to the tunes off in the distance. That's Guana Grabbers over there where we uh, went and hung out a little bit more today. Yeah. Witness the turd in the pool experience. <laughs> That's one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> but they fixed it because they, they scooped it out with a bucket and then they, they sprinkled stuff in the pool. So it's fine. So anyway, yeah, we're just kind of chilling. Got kind of a cool, weird, hazy rain sunset going on over here. There's lots of lots of pretty boats. And enjoying a cool, cool breeze after that rain. It feels so good. Lauren's actually cold. She's down below because it's too cold for her up here. Morning, we dropped the mooring ball and left Fisher Bay behind. And we set out on a quick 15 mile hop to Hope Town. We are on the water again, going to Hope Town, uh, which is the start of the races. Should be there within a couple hours. The skipper's meeting is at two the two. So we shouldn't have ETA is 10, 22. So yeah we shouldn't have any problem getting there. Because of the chop and rough seas we were motoring into, our dinghy started bucking wildly. With fears of the motor getting lost or damaged for good, we decided to take it off and put it safely on the boat. A feat which was easier said than done. Towards those rocks. Oh. 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 Oh.
Apparently that thing is a little too small to tow with the motor on it if it's getting real choppy. Yeah. I get back on track here. Okay. And the directions for the channel to hook down is point towards the rock, along with the yellow house, and then when you see a road that's actually kind of more like a sidewalk, wait till it looks straight, and then when it looks straight, turn like you're going to drive onto it. And I look for two triangle shaped markers and they're a range marker and I drive toward them at 149 degrees magnetic until you see them out through the channel and they just turn into it. So it's super easy. Probably don't have to do this quite so I figure it's kind of like cooking a new recipe. Just, just follow the ingredients the first time. And then, you know, if you want to change things up the next time, see what works. That's cool. Here it is. Oh. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs>